Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. So you've gotten yourself a fancy watch with a fancy master chronometer certification from the Institute of Metrology in Switzerland, uh, Metas certification, and you want to know what it's all about. Well, you just take your card and you take the uh, Omega uh, master chronometer scanner app, which you can find on the uh, Omega website, omegawatches.com uh, slash master chronometer, I think, or master certification. Uh, you scan the card and tap on it. And then you get to all the, the details. You also can have uh, your own account. There you go. An image of the watch itself, uh, the reference of the, the watch caliber and then the details of everything and you can send uh, yourself a PDF uh, certificate uh, with the same details which uh, I have uh, printed uh, right here so let's see the first test uh, it's a uh, function of the chronometer certified so the watches are first uh, cost certified and then they do the, the metas testing which is more stringent, especially in terms of um, exposure to uh, magnetic fields. So first, uh, that's what is tested. The uh, caliber uh, out of the watch is tested to uh, 15,000 Gauss and uh, it passed. Then the caliber inside the watch passed again. Then they calculate the deviation of the daily chronometric precision after the exposure and in this case, uh, it has to be between zero and five seconds a day. And my watch scored 1.4 seconds a day. And then uh, something more classic, the average daily chronometric precision of the watch has to be between zero and six seconds a day. And we have 0 0.9, very good, a little darling here. Uh, then testing the power reserve, it has to be 55 hours at least in turn for this watch, which is as per the spec. Deviation of chronometric precision in six positions, zero to 14 is the standard, and we have uh, 2.6 seconds uh, per day. We have the deviation of the uh, precision between, uh, that's interesting, I think, uh, especially for, for us. Uh, if you pick up, if you put down the watch for a day uh, or, or two, we pick it up. You want to know if it's still performing uh, well in the early uh, uh, hours after you've picked it up uh, all the way to uh, you know having moved a bit and uh, repowered it fully if you don't want to wind it and uh, here again very good result 0 0.5 seconds per day between a full wind and a third of a wind which is just uh, remarkable uh, as a reminder this watch has the uh, triple level coaxial uh, escapement, less friction, uh, less wear, uh, less uh, longer service intervals. And finally, the water resistance, uh, this watch is rated at 60 meters. The watch is actually uh, put inside the, the water. Uh, if you look at it on the website, it's quite interesting. There's a bit more, there's a few pictures associated uh, with uh, each of the, the tests. That's quite nice. Magnetic fields. Uh, this is what uh, the Institute uh, checking your watch uh, looks like. Very, uh, very cyber uh, type of uh, Institute. This is where all the watches are tested. I guess they are tested in batches for efficiency. I don't know, on this uh, app you can see all your watches that you have uh, registered uh, on it and you can download your your final uh, certificate and uh, send it to, to yourself by uh, email or save it on, on, on your watch. So I think uh, great uh, to know the actual results of the of the watch itself, being able to uh, print out something or keep it on your, your phone, keep a track uh, of your, your purchases. So there you go, uh, 
don't forget to uh, check it out if you buy a master chronometer watch from uh, Omega at least uh, now we also have a meta certification for the uh, ceramic uh, Tudor here um, I don't remember actually if you can check the, the results uh, I'll, I'll let you know but there you go uh, this is uh, on the Omega app I think it's uh, really well uh, well made and it's um, always makes you feel better uh, to know all the results thank you for watching guys and one more look at this beautiful uh, Seamaster Boutique edition there you go bye bye guys